New at 5, Pittsburgh will be leading America when the U.S. returns to the moon for the first time in 50 years. NASA has tapped a local space robotics company, Astrobotic, to do a crucial job in the 2020 mission. Julie Grant is live here with more. Julie. Christine, NASA awarded Astrobotic a $10 million grant to create a precision landing system for their spacecraft, Peregrine. This means that Peregrine will land on the moon within 100 meters of its intended target. And once Peregrine touches down, that is only the beginning of what it's set to do. It's space exploration history in the making in Pittsburgh's Strip District. We are making Pittsburgh a spacefaring city. Astrobotics goal is making the moon accessible to the world. There's vast quantities of water. When the Apollo astronauts went to the surface of the moon, they landed at the equator of the moon and declared that the moon was dry. That would be like landing on Earth's Sahara Desert and declaring that Earth is dry. Astrobotics lunar lander Peregrine is designed to experiment even further. Potentially, the spacecraft behind us could be the first things to show that we can produce water fuel from the moon and potentially turn the moon into a refueling station for spacecraft to go deeper and deeper into space. As the experiments are happening, the world will be able to watch. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's not going to be the, the grainy pictures of Apollo. This is going to be live HD video. Uh, streaming from the surface of the moon. Peregrine will also be delivering payloads. We've got rovers that are going to be dropping and driving off in the distance. We have time capsules from uh, various companies all over the, the world. We've got one in particular from Japan that has more than 100,000 kids signed up to send their dreams to the surface of the moon. Before the mission to the moon, Astrobotic will be doing a mission to the International Space Station. I'm standing in a mock-up of it right now. They'll be sending a sensor that will float through it and lift Listen for any changes. NASA has been a great partner of Astrobotic for many, many years, uh, and we've now collected 28 NASA contracts to date since our founding. The biggest of which is for the precision landing system. Then you can go to a crater of interest, go find a resource hotspot, or land next to potentially some old hardware like the Apollo sites. There's no set launch date yet. They're targeting the end of 2020. If Pittsburgh can land on the moon, Pittsburgh can do anything. Another big innovation, Astrobotic will be doing the precision landing without the use of GPS. The system they created uses cameras that look at the features of the moon and then matches them to an onboard map. So really fascinating, just mind-blowing stuff going on in the Strip District at Astrobotic, Christine. I know, right here, who knew? I love this. Okay, yes. and can you still sign up to send something to the actual moon? Yes, Christine, you and everyone at home, if you want to send your dreams to the moon too, it's not too late to do that. We've got a link to Astrobotics website along with this story up on kdk.com and by the way if you want to see Peregrine in person you can do that too at the Heinz History Center. I can't wait to see that as well. Thank yes. you Julie.